Hi, I'm Gary. Gary's Wine and Marketplace here with my friend Chris Carpenter from Cardinal Winery. But as a winemaker for Cardinal, it seems like you have unlimited opportunities to play with grapes from different vineyards, top of the mountain, valley floor like we were talking about, Howell Mountain. Yep. So what I'm going to do, what should I taste first, the Lahota or the Mount Brave? Well, we start with the Lahota. I'm going to taste the Lahota Merlot, Merlot first. Yep. And you're going to tell me about it, and I'm going to taste. Okay, so um, Lahota is a winery on Howell Mountain in Napa Valley. It, it's, it's the whole idea behind Lahota is that we're producing a wine that has all of the characteristics of Howell Mountain, and that dark fruit, that, that little bit of herb, that grittiness but isn't such a tannic monster that you can't taste it early on in its life. Uh, so what I try to do is choose vineyards from, or, or vineyard blocks in our vineyard that really speak to uh, that, that understanding of Howl Mountain from a flavor standpoint, but don't have quite the tannin impact. If we tasted it and you didn't tell me it was Merlot, yeah. I would say, it's a drinkable Cabernet. You right. know, it's a, so it's got everything you want in, in a big red wine without the tannins. It's, yeah. it's so, supple. And that's the great thing about Howell Mountain is the, oh, sure. the blocks that we source from from Merlot are, are Merlots with a Cabernet-esque kind of uh, impact on your palate. So it's got all those great Merlot characteristics, but there's it's, it's weighty, it's got depth, it's got length, but it doesn't it doesn't crush you with the tannin thing. That's great. So so next we're going to taste La Hoda Cabernet Sauvignon. Excellent. Let's Is that all right with you? Yep. You want me to get rid of that yeah. for you? I'm playing along here. Let's see. Okay. Have you ever used this? The soiree? No, those are uh, really I love interesting. that. Well, it Globular. airs it out a lot. Oh, yeah. So the, the Cabernet, is it's the yeah. same idea with the Cabernet, except this is, in fact, a blend. So this has uh, a majority of Cabernet in it, uh, a little bit of Merlot, Cab Franc, and Petit Verdot. And what, I, what we're, again, trying to do is give you an understanding of Hall Mountain, make it an approachable wine, but add a certain amount of complexity to the wine with the Cabernet Franc and the Merlot and the, and the uh, Petit Verdot. And, 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 frankly, give you a wine in my repertoire of wines that's approachable in a price standpoint. i got to tell you, you get richness of the Cabernet. I get some of that darkness from, like, Petit Verdot. But I also get that blueberry, you know, the Cap Franc. Yep, that's, the, that's coming right from the You Cap know, Franc. that is beautiful in the nose and in the, in the mid-palate. i got to tell you, it, it's got a great finish. I'm still tasting it. I got, this is a great glass of wine. Well, thank you. Thanks. And then we're going to do Mount Brave next. Mount Brave. And I could attest, because I was in Chicago the other day, and I had that with steak. The Mount well, Brave was on the wine list and reasonably priced. It was Our great. sales guys are doing their job it in Chicago. It was awesome. So, so Mount Brave is the Mount Veeder equivalent of La Hoda. As I mentioned, La Hoda is based on Hull Mountain. Mount Brave is all about Mount Veeder. And it's the same idea. Mount Veeder, typically the wines coming out from Mount Veeder have this incredible tannin impact. But they've got great blueberry, great minerality, a little bit of spice. And I want people to be able to capture those at dinner, at a restaurant like the one that you were at in Chicago, but not have to wait three hours right. for the tannins to resolve or wait ten years for that. What I find in this right away is the nose. Yep. It's more vibrant. It's a it's it's almost like spicier in the nose. Just comes right out in the glass. Well Vitor had one of the other flavor compounds that really jump out for me for Vitor are violets. And that is something that carries a lot of the fruit with the violets and uh, blueberries. Wow. It's funny, it's, it's almost, I, I, I wouldn't have thought violet until you said it. Uh, I'm being totally honest, I don't always pick that up. But I get sweetness, a mid-palate sweetness, oh, yeah. right? Which I love. I mean, it really, it, it opens my palate up. It's a, it's really got some good acidity. That's great. Yeah, so, and that's always, that's another characteristic of Vitor, is that acid. This wine is also a blend. It has a, a wee bit of... Cabernet Franc and a wee bit of uh, Merlot, literally three and two percent uh, collectively. But this is a great bottle of wine. Well, before we sign off, I, I need a little truth in advertising. Please. I really need to get off my soapbox. <laughs> so, so this is really, you know, that I was told I needed to stand on a box because of the height difference. 
but I, I still see eye to eye with you. You're, you're a giant in your field, Gary. <laughs> in my own mind. Thanks for making great wines and visiting us in New Jersey. Thank you.